How's it going guys? We're on to episode 25 of the Ruthless Forbidden Sanctum League. The plan is continue grinding up yellow maps, run more sanctums, see what we can do. Last time all of the support gems that we could possibly ask for seemed to drop so everything's looking really good here except for the Chaos Golem. Chaos Golem still can't stay alive, so I don't know. Do we even need the Chaos Golem at all? I'm wondering at this point. In its place, I could have a Vol Righteous Fire that lasts for 8.36 seconds. More spell damage. Yeah, that's definitely good. Old Snap would give me the ability to gain Frenzy Charges. I think this is when I take an increased duration. That with the Steel Skin, Arcane Surge, Righteous Fire, and Clarity, Temporal Rift, I want. Arctic Armor, Malevolence. So this goes to two blues. Nice. So that makes Steel Skin cost 23 mana. Bye bye, Chaos Golem. Uh, the plan is we're on T6 maps till we have no more T6 maps. That is eight maps currently. Weapon Swap, Chain Hook. Awesome. Defiance Banner. Kind of cool to have. Okay, this is the boss. So this is when All Righteous Fire heal. And it's going to last for a long time. A really long time. Yeah. What do we get here? Centauri's Answer. A quant shield with spell block. Wow. Max roll quant with some extra curse based on the damage you block with 30% block on it. That seems fun. Oh yeah. I have a Vol Righteous Fire. Just a little bit extra. Don't push the Vol Righteous Fire while you're standing in fire, T-Gen. Yeah, not smart. Continuing a Sanctum run from last time. We have a lot of resolve. A lot of coins, too. Can't see what the rooms are. Less monster life. And take one other thing. Inspiration on floor. 500 inspiration for the run to go. Sure. Monsters always knock back. And then turn into infliction. Afflictions are unknown. Or not always taken to the room you select or chests no longer drop Aureus coins. I have to go with the knockback into purple smoke. Gain more Aureus coins found. See one room fewer. Let's make it even worse. Lose a boon, lose affliction. I don't know that I want any of them. Maybe this bottom one. You know what? Let's go black smoke. Red smoke, black smoke, purple smoke. Oh wow. Double deadly blade dancer. Gain random boon. Upon reaching zero resolve, revive with 75% of maximum resolve once. Cool. Merchant or fountain. I don't have enough coins. Oh, fountain. All right, back to max resolve. So yeah, if I if I run out of resolve, I revive. That's so much resolve recovered. If I get close to, if I get to the last floor, I should run as high tier maps as I can, I think, just to see if I could get it. So they're all unknown encounters, unknown afflictions. Yeah, this could go bad though, real quick. The middle one lets me pick next time. This one has an offer if I take something here. Gain vicious eager, lose 25%. Yes. Yep, that's the only one I'm taking for an alteration. No item. And the boss. They're going to be in insanely slow. Making almost super slow is a good way to dodge the ball thing. Got fusing and alteration from that. Two fusings at the end of the sanctum. I'm gonna try with that. Until next time. Oh, so many people have been really enjoying this league and I think that's made them afraid to make changes to things, but it would be so much better still. We could store more of these and do a whole sanctum run. Hey, an ancient shard. That's cool. Here's my level 19 Bane. Helps. Hey, there's a GMP that gives us the potential of Solrent actually doing something. Deal off only lasts 1.26 seconds. Well, it's very possible it's better for map clear. Probably not single target damage, but it seems pretty nifty. It gets the temp chains as well, so it does have some kind of duration to it. It could have the efficacy. So is this when I drop the infused channeling, do less damage with blight, but still keep the Soul written and the essence strain. Okay, soul written's expensive mana cost wise. Malachi's loop shocks you when you reach maximum power charge. Lose all power charge when use when losing lose all power charges on reaching maximum power charges. Spell damage per power charge. Chance to gain power charge on hit plus two maximum power charges. Big energy shield. That's really cool as well. There's there's stuff out there that has benefits to being shocked, and you can reduce the effect of shock fully. That's really high rolled too. And where's the void battery to go with it? That'd be fun. Probably impossible though and ruthless but who knows things drop so since we have a gmp maybe it's time to drop the five link bane and lose the spell cascade and make it cost more recoloring the staff or the chest armor has the same odds need two 
green, three blue, then whatever else. Two green with a red. I put life tap on it. Play manipulation, GMP, full destruction, soul rend, life tap. So then I won't have to mess with the mana. Makes it cost 188 life. That drains me on life. Yeah, I can't spam cast it on the mana. Maybe cruelty. Let's see if cruelty works. All right, fusings have one. Not enough. On the helmet, we make this for Bane. Okay. It's AoE is still pretty big. And it's actually going to probably do more damage. But now Solren costs too much. I have one regret that I can do something to try and fix that. Mana reservation efficiency is too far out. Drop this. I'm over on a spell block, aren't I? Drop this. Pop on the spell block. Yay, that's actually a point that's free. I can take Clarity mana reservation efficiency. Fix me to 103. I'm not gonna increase the mana region. Put a point right here and get mana region per power charge. Well, let's see if cruelty works well with it. That was 40%, so I'd say so. It's gonna take me a minute to figure out how to make this work buttons wise. Currently I have the light on my mouse five. Superior slower projectiles. I think that actually would work with Solrin probably. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, Bane is just doing way better. Clear as well as have lots of options Solren can just clear so much and work for the mana issue well, maybe I put it back and put that on, on its own button Essence strain back here there. there's no easy way to get three greens on one of these let slow projectiles in place of cruelty but cruelty appears to be working and that's just for clear as well blight essence strain bane combo work for everything else tainted blacksmith I think that Solren is cool I just don't think it's for how I have this character I think the big takeaway for me from this, while it is like really good for clearing, is that seeing my Bane do more damage makes me want to put that in the five link and kind of go back to how I had things set up and not run the soul rend. Having four skills is just too much and Bane doing more damage. I might have to cast it a couple more times, but it does have bigger AoE. It's just making the map clear on that alone way better. And I could make the damage better by throwing a control destruction on Bane instead of the spell cascade. I spent resources on the Solren, but it was worth testing out, I think. And built it up just to tear it back down. So 304 chromes, so not the end of the world. If I happen to get two green with all blue, I can move the light to the chest and then put the bane in the staff okay there's what we had keep leveling the gmp though all right i don't have another control destruction but i do have one on my jug so last night i was hanging out with my brother and i guess my sister had a friend over from school and i heard people like come into a room behind us and my sister starts like introducing me and my brother and then all of a sudden i hear some kid i don't know say i have more subscribers than you so i'm just like wait okay what's up so there's this kid in our house and i'm like oh, okay it's like oh what's up so i'm like oh okay how many subscribers you have he's like four hundred thousand. i'm just like what how old are you he's like 14 i'm just like what there's no way ha like what <laughs> really oh yeah sure enough 14 year old kid four hundred thousand youtube subscribers playing fortnite and I guess Valorant now. Me and my brother are talking a lot about that. This this kid has more YouTube subscribers than like anybody who plays Path of Exile. I I just I could not imagine being 14 having 400,000 YouTube subscribers in middle school. And it looks like we get to go into Sanctum. 522. Do I go for a merchant? We got purple smoke, black smoke, red smoke. I think I try to save for the next merchant. Go for the Accursed Pact. What do we got? Lose boon, lose affliction. Gain boon, gain affliction. No item. I don't know that I want to do any of that. Can't see the rooms or the afflictions, so I guess I take the biggest treasure. And we get Fiendish Wings and we quit. Now I go for the Merchant. Okay, we got Traps and Pact Increased Resolve. I still just can't get it out of my head, though. Like, how I just, last night, I got Omega Flexed on by a child it's just not it's not oh i have more youtube subscribers than you i have two thousand times as many youtube subscribers as you do just casual <laughs> it's wild all right what do we got next boon we're into a major boon okay more 50 percent more damage that'll work get another heal 
just to be super safe. Sure, go for the Afflicted Fountain, but not take it so I can avoid Affliction. Now I got so much damage, I can absolutely wreck this stuff. Another Merchant doesn't help me. We go for the points. Another Find the Exit. All of these have been Find the Exit, and I've full cleared them <laughs> because the guards... Like, I could almost kill the guards with Bane alone at this point. Uh, check for item. No item. So forced into an affliction here. What did we get? Lose all Aureus on floor completion. Up and no item. I guess I should probably learn the name of this boss. Zenithar. Templar Reaper. Ooh. The dots. Oh, it's already dead? Okay. <laughs> Okay, a complete two sanctum runs in a row. Any items here? Nothing. So I have one room stored currently. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? I need seven more. The seventh one will be the boss. If I get my level, then I go to the T12 map on the seven to try and save this. It actually needs to be the sixth one because the seventh one will be the first one I do. Six maps. Hey, it's the burning rage. This is the last lab trial I need to complete all the lab trials. Not like it matters but okay so i've completed all the trials now might be the time to go run a lab just for proof that it doesn't actually exist um then we all right just fire heal and melt the boss easy peasy it was also my last t6 map there i don't have anything higher than t9s outside of these two all right T12 map it is. Let's try and raise the level of my sanctum. Oh, and I can take influence. Oh, yes. Here we go. This is what I need. T12 heist contracts. I have to put down portal before boss. Oh, there's the level. Good. Perfect. Oh, I don't take giga damage from this guy on this build. Imagine that. Wow. I love it. I have a build that works. I didn't get any maps out of it. Oh, I got a T10. That's something. So this level goes into... Ooh, I need a refund to get this clarity reservation back. And that can go into life as well. It's not worth scourings, I don't think. I just gotta wait till I find a regret. There's the regret orb. Thank you, game. Huge. Okay, this mastery's out. More life. Let's go. T11. Good. Another fracturing shard. Got a cult and halt rolled pretty well too bad you can't dual wield shields or i could put this on my main hand or the uh special shield throw but then it would probably do like a dual wield and like throw one shield and throw the other or something crazy or saved this is number five okay so i can do a t11 then a t12 and then i need a map to start the sanctum and then maybe we can see like i know i've seen it on uh the very first like no hit run that got completed i saw it posted on reddit so i know there's a second phase to the boss fight i haven't seen it in any other capacity than it getting like one shot so i don't know what it is i still have yet to see it in any capacity so that's what I'm trying to do here. Mm, I maybe should watch out for 60% less effective curses on this build. Seeming as how these three curses do a lot for me. Easy boss though. Let me out. What the hell? I was stuck there for like six seconds. It wouldn't let me walk in any direction whatsoever. <sighs> okay, maybe it's time for the permanent addition to the phasing flask for situations like that oh yeah essence of red map wailing of spite i think wailing is the lowest tier of spite so no information there yeah six rooms stored now it's time for the t12 my plus 25 chaos res speed projectiles less recovery Ugh. gotta watch out for using vol righteous fire in a less recovery rate map because that was scary we got an extra one of these atlas passive points though the decoy totem it's so nice sometimes. Well, it dies, of course, but you just put down another one. It did much better at handling the, per handling the purple monsters, but it does its job very well. And I feel like I pretty easily handled an extra speed, multi-proj, chaos res, less recovery T12 map with this build. And we still got gym levels quite a ways out, but out there. And I guess I do the T13 to start the next sanctum wow two passive energy shield cluster that came with energy from not on it all right here goes hopefully I can finish it out Ooh. i really don't like this room what's worse is i probably need the Aureus coins from this cash uh all right do it again took my time made sure i got enough Aureus so i could get this boon rusted chimes so i gain inspiration on affliction it's not bad <sighs> Go for the item 40 percent reduced movement speed awesome oh it's painful oh thank god for tip chains this is just slow-mo sanctum all the way around and there's actually an item here promiser augment 
Fountain doesn't help. A cursed pact, maybe. Find the exit. Oh, this is one I can just run, but I run very slowly. <laughs> and there is an item here. Major boon. Lose boon, lose affliction. What I want. Oh, I lost the 50% damage. And I lost the knockback. Oh, I get to do this boss for the first time. What do we got? Oh, okay. This guy. That's not bad. Oh, well, she's doing different things. Okay, you get close to those. Those explode. Whoa. Eh? Sure. Oh, I got the relic halter slot unlocked. Find the exit. Yeah, I guess we have to go like rune by rune here. This traps do increase resolve. Ah, I skipped one. Ah, come on. Ooh, that hurt. No item. Another find the exit. This looks like an undercross. No, this is a gauntlet. Oh, come on. Oh, this is bad. No item here either. Okay, so curse packed, curse packed. Top one. Another find the exit. Oh, that was my affliction. Lose 5% resolve on room completion. All right, no item. Curse packed. Room spawn volatile anomalies. Lose three random minor afflictions. I mean, there's no guarantee that... That really helps. It's worth taking the gamble, maybe. Uh, yeah, let's let's try. It. I'm still slow. I can I can lose affliction for a boon. Try. Still slow and remove traps are slower. Okay, I have no quicksilver flasks. Yeah. Ah, oh, there's. How do you dodge that? You shall not evade me. No, no, yeah, no. I won't evade that. Too slow. No movement skills. Just base, please. Come on. Okay. Okay. We phased it. Took a trap hit there. I still have, I think I have both on my heels. Those volatile anomalies suck. Ah. Oh. Oh, it's like almost not even worth trying to dodge. Come back when you're stronger. Do you gotta do it in T16 maps or did I just not offset it enough maybe? I tried to boost the average. Ah, uh, two fusings. It's two completed Sanctum runs in a row though with this build. I hate that so much content in this game is gated behind T16 stuff. Because when I really got into the game, like I loved trying to fight Elder in white maps. It feels real nice to have my movement speed back though. Uh, that was torture. Hoffa Relic is resolve and use a fountain. That's weak. For item level 81, it is max resolve though. But I, I could have had another mod. All right, well. That was fun. Uh, it's nice to know that I'm pretty solidly handling myself in T12, T13 maps. But I'm going to go back to T7s because we have no maps. So grind out the easy levels. Let's see here. Any of these maps I don't want to do. Mineral pools I don't want to do. The rest of them are for all fine. What is this? Valerium. Minus cold res. Stun threshold based on ES instead of life. Okay. Wow, terrible spot for death. What exactly happened here? Frenzy charge and hit extra damage to injured foes. Like shield charge with a fizz aura around there with the fizz is extra. Maybe I just didn't get the enfeeble off on them. I don't know. I got the totem that was there. Hmm. Four one down. No item there. 1147 Aureus coins. Monsters impact more resolve than I have black smoke. C1 fewer room and no items. Orb of unmaking. Cool. Oh, I just learned something huge. I can press ball righteous fire and then press temporal rift and it will instantly reset my hp i learned that by mispressing my flask button superior spell slinger 12 percent yo that's crazy yeah so ball righteous fire blink full hp that's so crazy oh i can do it again here all right just fire blink still not the simplest thing because temporal rift is just strange compared to other movement skills so ball righteous fire blink then the boss nice what we got uh, reduced action speed, rusted chimes as well. Increased effect of your non unique relics. Take the heal. Ooh, three more for rusted chimes. Let's go back. Oh, I don't think there's three more in here. Oh well. All right, no rusted chimes. Take the heal though. Random minor affliction when you use a fountain. So don't use this fountain, I guess. Don't touch the fountain because I get extra. And if I would have had rusted chimes, I don't know. 
Rusted Chimes might be bait. Go for another merchant. Why not? I'm not going to get items from the other things, so might as well see what we got. Duplicate a random offering ward. I don't have any. Ah, uh, reduce merchant prices. Scrying crystal. And then I heal. No! Worn sandals! Not again! Ah! No! It's the actual worst. Ah! Actually, it's not It's not the worst. The worst is still fiendish wings. But this is agony. No item. All right, so I think this time we, we uh, beat the boss and this run's dead. Processional relic? All right, yeah, there's just no escaping that. Okay, boss down. What we got here? Bosses take increased damage, gain resolve when you use a fount. Not bad. Yo, blueprint. The first gym I'm leaving on the ground. I'm gonna start leaving gems that I absolutely don't need on the ground. Double strike is one of those. 7% dual arrogance where the skills reserve life instead of mana probably a good one to have here we have venopuncture you're chilled by you bleeding bleeding enemies you kill with hits shatter oh a six socket item in here another void manipulation hm. i would need a six link i think in order to use that which it is possible to get a six link replica ambush out of heist minefield support i don't know they have one of those that's good unbound ailments cool oh this is awful where's the rare there's a powerful minions rare Okay, there it is. It keeps respawning the, the bears. Wild. Five link staff. Start off with an item here. So amazing. And a major boom for 50% max resolve. Sure, I guess. Okay. Can only lose resolve once per second. Chrome again? Yep. Gain affliction when I take this. That's a boon. That's resolve and binding change. Okay. This runs over. Kill Varakath, but Tome Relic, sure. Resolve when you use Fountain. A Blessed Orb when you complete the Sanctum. Now that's cool. It's not happening in this run though. Poison Water, Chains of Binding. Nothing else really going for me. It's not worth continuing the run, I think. Urge Traps. Another Fracturing Shard. I think I have more Fracturing Shards than Ancient Shards. Detonate Mines. Isn't this gym basically useless? Uh, mine Detonation Speed? Or sequence maybe i don't know lesser multiple projectiles rarity seven map or deadly ailments level 86 well, that's even more life one more i can get the big one minus 100 resolve bought a benevolent fountain into a merchant or lose coins when i lose resolve into big treasure i think we'll go to the fountain what we got rusted chimes okay merchant has less resolve lost while you have inspiration lilting melodies also good lore one gilded liars probably have to take that rewards are unknown black smoke see one fewer room ahead only like golden smoke i think i need to be able to see what afflictions there are because i can stack Ooh, valor Barricath has coffer relic solid it has percent resolve it's a good one so Oh, max resolve on boss kill. Cool. We got another run going. Since I got a level, I think I should go try and hit these heists. If I don't do it before I start IDing and vendoring stuff from my dump, I will throw them on the ground in a map and leave them there because I will want those slots. You can actually store one of them with Adia in the heist window. You can just throw one in here and leave it. Oh, this one's free anyways. We can open everything on the way in, run back out. Oh, a sharpening stone. Now, if these heist rewards were any kind of decent at all, I could not complete this just so I have, I, I'll get this heist contract again, as long as it's above level 75 zone, I think. You can come through and full clear this again, but they don't, the chests don't really drop much of anything in Ruthless. So open this last door. All right, once the dialogue starts, so this is when I just book it back to the beginning of the zone. So then I want to fight my way back. And I've already looted everything here because there's no alert level rising. So you can leave and you could, I don't know if you can get back in, probably, but to complete the mission, you have to sit here and wait till Kurai teleports to you and then you can just leave. There she is and we out. Mission complete. And now I should be able to drop the twins. Ooh, a 77 laboratory that'll be good xp another one I'd, i'm not super worried about dying in either and let's hit this with an alk ride yes it's a lot of life regen lightning damage with melee damage mm. one more another region okay, i need to see something here we're at 567 189 get all the rats kill them okay so they still do give xp i was curious if the rat xp got nerfed more substantially than everything else i don't think it did conduit line how that one Level 5 Discipline. It's a new one. Not great. Golden Brooch as well. Job Speed. Rarity. Nice. Who's going on the next one? Karst. Feels like it could be a good place to stop, but I'm not stopping until I have no more T7 maps. Pistol 
adapts. I haven't seen many abysses. My intuition's telling me that there's something messed up in the coding with how stuff works. With the stuff that I added to have chances to spawn, like essences, harbingers, and strong boxes, something's removing the abyss chance or those things spawning in or somehow like taking the place of the content that is spawning in somehow that's my best guess is why i haven't been seeing the abysses as often as i was before i specced into those things ghastly eye jewel stygian vise making myself a fifth flask stash tab because i still don't have the will to go through them. So all of the highlighted flasks here have quality on them. I've been picking up all kinds of flasks and stuff that I can vendor for glass blowers. That's why I have so many flasks. This belt. Let's hit it with prismatic catalysts. Eh, no, 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 no. Look at essences here. I can guarantee a lightning or cold res. Fossils. Nothing super special there. I'm gonna hit it with just an elk. Pretty bad. Oh, there we go. Get abyss and back to back maps and another abyssal depths yeah i expected to lose some of the abysses that i get spawned when i started playing on this character because i specced into some extra chance for heist but i've gotten like two if not three times the number of heists as i have abyss since that but i also added in the essence strong boxes and harbinger that's why i think like something's wrong with because i should i should be re finding slightly more abyss than smuggler's caches and that's just not the way it's been murderous eye jewel hypnotic eye jewel oh, there's a smuggler's cache in this same map i swear sometimes like a lot of times with this game you start complaining about something and then that thing just shows up now we got Abyss said three maps in a row. It knows. This will trove. No jewel. Another control destruction. Cool. Can now replace the one I stole. Oh, wow. This is a pretty yikes map. Shocked ground, which I'm not immune to. Less effective curses. Increased crit chance. We should be fine. Oh! The pin from the Volrain of Arrows lasts through a temporal rift. I think that pin is one of the most BS things in this game. I guess it's like the four second duration that makes it really bad the bear trap doesn't even seem that bad another oh, herald of agony ah where's the herald of ice herald of thunder got two storm secrets i'd love to mess around with that oh yay we got a grace oh yes the raider is looking more and more alive oh ace goes in the spectral shield throw tab so now we have both the auras that i want for this good merchant offers fewer choices where right, i start this one there's a fountain not seeing rewards is strange hey, an item Ooh, a merchant nice oh only one item 50 percent fewer choices only one okay well, i guess it's two no more mini map big boys down a tome relic reduced merchant prices Ooh, I'm just in time. Got uh, Eclipse Solaris. Let fire to attacks wand. Okay. Knight's Hold. Some support gems. You can use it at level 12 too. Or three. Oh, nice. Merchant. Traps are disabled. That's pretty insane. 200 max resolve is really good too. Awesome. All right. Looks like chests are no longer dropping Aureus coins. But... In this inferno, they're gone. Oh, yes. Offering. Gotta go for the augments on the sanctum completion. Halls of worship. I can avoid the chains of binding. Another offering. Transmute. Let's... A coffer relic. Monsters take increased damage. And impact reduce resolve. Yes. That is so good. I'll find the exit, but I don't have to deal with the traps. That's awesome. No items on the last three. This is pretty crazy. Like, not being able to see the rewards and just getting potential items on each. Okay, boss time. Nope. Hey, another processional relic. Two chance on completing the sanctum. Hopefully, I won't drop three more T7 maps and feel like I should finish that. Ooh, what? Uh, betrayal stuff. Ow. Leo's metamorph. Shaper scarabs, all prisoners set free. We need one more safe house for a mastermind. Maybe we'll do that next time. Oh, I did get another T7 map, but it's mineral pools, and I'm not running those. It actually gives me three mineral pools now. I can upgrade and make another T8. This trove. Okay, divine blessing. Let's go. That's a huge find. Ooh, an ember. Anything useful? Minions deal increased damage. Oh, this Arendal's embrace. 
just the one that burns skeletons down. I do six sockets in one map? That's unheard of. All my tabs are filled up. Guess I gotta use this one. Ooh, King's Guard. A nice chest. Low on the life, max on the mana, low on the armor. Yes. I was worried about this tormented bosses, but there's only one. Oh, okay. One more T7. There we go. No more T7 maps. Had one more dropped, I would have ran floor four of the sanctum but i shall do that next time when i start running it t8 maps and then we'll do the t9s and t10s and then maybe we'll have a red map pool this is the idea i've run a lot of maps i wasn't expecting to get 70 percent of this level uh on top but i've got six plus a little bit stash tabs and stuff i'm not going through this this right now i will do that start of next video bunch of gems and uniques we got a grace very happy about having a grace and this divine blessing could give me an extra aura on a build if i were to get the mastermind helmet something i will be i'll be looking into next time as well i've got so many master missions that i've just been like grinding stuff but i would love to like push up the maps like they just, you, you can't just run a map and like hope to, hope that this one gets you up there. It seems like I need to come with a full set of force of like, I plan on staying in red maps now. This is what I'm hoping to do here. We'll see about that next time. So this was kind of like on my mind a lot about this kid's YouTube channel. And I begin to think like, you know what? I wonder if this kid's just making this up. He doesn't actually have, like, he isn't the person who owns this channel. And I start looking into this and start seeing like all of the like banned accounts places. And it's like, okay, maybe he is like actually 14 and has this YouTube channel. I mean, if I was 14 and had 400k YouTube subscribers, I'd probably never shut up about it. So it probably is pretty legit. But at the same time, none of these videos are monetizable at all. They're all montages with heavily copyrighted music on them but fortnite's also really easy um i think when it came to like making thumbnails and titles and stuff so i don't know it, it's it's insane to me like i i can't imagine what that is like and my brother's been trying to convince me to try and do less for each one of these videos of the series where i've been like putting in eight hours maybe like i definitely put more in for this video and try and get myself in a rhythm that's something that's doable because i kept i keep finding myself in these scenarios where it's like i'm overworking myself even still and not able to consistently get these videos out each day and something i've been trying to figure out for a very long time is how i can take playing this game for a day and then turn that into something watchable on youtube because this is really pretty heavily a, a stream game it's when it goes to youtube content it comes to like build guides and i died in hardcore like that's that's basically what there is out there and yeah i've been tinkering with it for a long time and i i don't think i've got it 100 percent figured out yet but uh i am making a daily progression into something watchable maybe that has more to do with ruthless as well and yeah while i was digging around on youtube stuff i also discovered for like the first time i've ever looked at it in my youtube analytics my demographics my graphics doesn't say 100% male every time I've ever looked at it ever in the past few years 100% male like there wasn't even a 0.1% female on there but now it's like 91% and 8.9% female audience so welcome to all you ladies it means I might need to change my intro up a little bit but uh yeah and I've also like it's 2 30 a.m where I'm at it I've been uploading videos like late afternoon here uh, like 4 p.m for me and it would turn out that uploading videos like 6 a.m ish is probably best for me and the channel so that's why i was trying to like wrap this one up and finish it up so that i could edit and try and upload this video and get it out there and then i've also made it into a gauntlet practice league which is something that i normally don't get access to um we also don't have an official gauntlet announcement yet but i'm also kind of keen to get back into the like i need to reacclimate myself to the pace of the regular game 
before Gauntlet. I've never played in a Gauntlet that I didn't go into, like, planning on trying to win, at least as far as a um, ranger goes. So I've got a plan for Gauntlet, and I want to practice a bit for that. So I will probably be starting that up sometime th this next weekend, or maybe even sooner, I don't know. I still want the official Gauntlet announcement to come out for that. Um, but I didn't get to play in the last Gauntlet, and then last league we didn't have a Gauntlet, so it's been three leagues since I've done a gauntlet and I want to see what happens with that. Maybe the same things will still happen. I'll die to something dumb that I didn't see coming, but I, I'm very eager uh, for gauntlet coming up. But that is all I've got for this one i'd like to thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video definitely hit the like button as it really helps the channel out a lot subscribe to make sure you don't miss more videos from me if you'd like to help support my channel please consider using the super thanks the art icon just below the video or by joining to become a member and yeah i'll see you on the next one